day. This is DK Bold with another Bold Business Report and your morning's Wall Street Brief. In the news on the front page of the Wall Street Journal, we have a tax break battle that is flaring up. The little known law in taxes allow many to get billions in refunds. What this law allows is for companies that receive stimulus money from that, that they can take their losses from 2008 and 2009 and apply against taxes paid in the previous five years instead of the last two. JP Morgan Chase, Washington Mutual are looking at getting billions. Also on the front page, cell towers, I'm sorry, cell barriers bow to Taliban threat. In the uh, in Afghanistan, in Kandahar, cell towers and cell, cellular carriers are bowing to the threat of destruction to the cell towers as well as death to uh, employees of those cell carriers and they are turning off their cell towers every night so from dusk until morning until light those cell towers go dead so that there'll be no way for them to help the coalition the US forces and while our US surge has helped the Taliban remains entrenched and in many ways is more powerful than the existing government there Moving on to our second section, Marketplace. On that front page, we have Google braces for fallout in China. If you remember a couple of days ago, Google defied them and basically there was no sanctions and they decided to go forward with redirecting folks to a Hong Kong uh, search site. It's being met with, resist with resentment and confusion and those inside China were still not able to see politically sensitive searches through the Hong Kong site. This is continuing to be a contentious relationship between Google and China. Second up, Daimler AG to settle with US on bribes. Daimler agrees to pay $185 million to resolve a long-standing US investigation for bribes in securing overseas deals. The deal, total deal, calls for $93.6 million to resolve a Justice Department probe and $91.4 million for the SEC investigation. Also out of this, Daimler gets a deferred prosecution agreement so that they can avoid further issues. Moving on to our third section, money and investing. First up, UK arrests six in an insider, in an insider trading case, basically London is cracking down on insider trading in their financial district. This includes one person from a U.S. company, More Capital Management, one person from Deutsche Bank, and a third comes from an affiliated bank, PNP, uh, correction, BNP Paribas. This investigation has been underway since 2007 and no further details were given. Also, he's back in the game just coming off his recent uh, loss in his bid for re-election in New Jersey, John Corzine, the former Goldman Sachs chairman, is returning to the financial world. He'll be going to MF Global Holdings as chairman, and his mission will return, be to return that company to profitability. Well, that fills out our Wall Street morning brief. I encourage you, as also, please take action down below this is an opportunity for you to write your reviews. Hey, tell me what you think. Tell me what you don't think. Tell me what you like and tell me what you want more of. I'm also looking for leaders, true leaders, people who don't want to sit on the couch and do nothing. If you're one of those people that want to take charge, lead from the front, then I encourage you as always to find your passions. You take care and have a great day.